now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go to another major league troublemaker. Uh, and I want to apologize to everybody that we have extremists like this on, but we're illustrating how dangerous they are. Uh, and he's going to probably talk about a lot of issues that are going to be very, very frightening to people. Uh, so uh, joining us is Bob Chapman, uh, author, lecturer, researcher, uh, silver and gold broker, and uh, ran at one time the biggest uh, private uh, newsletter in the world. And he's then retired and came back with the International Forecaster. And, and, and by the way, we do have the uh, uh, Mr. Leonard coming on with his lawyer, the black fellow with his wife, with the uh, six kids homeschooled. Uh, who had uh, never um, uh, you know, gotten any trouble or had problems. We were living in a storage shed at the facility he managed with air conditioning and a little house he built so after he lost his welding job and couldn't afford a home. And the CPS came and took his children because they could make a lot of money getting them uh, strung out on uh, pharma pharmacological drugs as 68% of foster children nationwide are. Oh, oh he's meeting with CPS at 2.30, so he's... So, 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 so he'll be on with us right before. Did I say 2.30 or did I say 1.30? No, no, no. Okay, great. Yeah, he's popping on with his lawyer. Uh, going to uh, Bob Chapman. Bob, just, just out of the gates, what do you think now of people that go homeless, families and living in tents and stuff, or even, even in air-conditioned little houses they build, uh, now having the CPS swoop down, uh, and, you know, basically like a scene out of Planet of the Apes and grab the humans in the nets and drag them away, uh, to the uh, pedophile dungeons of the CPS? It's not to be unexpected. Uh, it's an extension of capturing young people uh, to do the things that they want them to do. And it's going to get worse because at the top of the political uh, and economic chain, there are a lot of people who have unusual desires and uh, that's what they're doing it for. And uh, this behavior is rife, not only in the United States, but throughout the world. And it has been for many years. Uh, there was reporting on this sort of thing uh, back in the 1920s uh, in relation to Nebraska and uh, Boys Town and things like that. Well, remember the but thousands of missing kids in Florida? that the feds uh, had, had grabbed uh, from the state and then they were never seen again and CNN just quit reporting on it. I mean, they'll take one child and, and make a huge uh, fiasco out of it you know, as a diversion, but then it's come out in the Chicago Tribune and even Houston Chronicle that DynCor has been caught running white slavery, that means sex slavery, worldwide at an industrial scale with the UN. And guess who the biggest contractor for CPS officers, agents are? People don't know these are private mercs. Uh, a lot of them pedophiles here in the United States. Uh, most of them are being grabbed by private mercenary contractor groups that run actual physical military mercenaries outside the US. I mean, we are literally preyed upon. Well, I think you're absolutely correct. and. Um I know that they supposedly supply security for post offices and things of that sort, but uh, I've never seen any of them around. I think they get paid for doing nothing. And it's just another racket. And you're right about the worldwide uh, prostitution and pedophile situation that they're in. Um, it was quite widespread in Bosnia. And, uh, of course, the same creeps that we're running Bosnia then is still doing so and running the drugs out of Afghanistan into Europe. But anyway, it all meshes into... Oh, oh yeah, any time a U.N. force lands, it comes out in the news. Just That's why they joined the U.N. I mean, it is to rape children. I mean, it's an army of pedophiles. We're facing an army of pedophiles. And, you know, nothing gets done about it because there's so many people with odd sexual appetites that run cities, counties, states, uh, even in the federal government as well. Um, I'm sure you've been to Washington, D.C., and I don't have to take it any further. But um, I'm glad that um, the young lady is uh, pursuing uh, these people in that uh, city, and uh, I hope she's successful. Uh, a lot of these uh, police types, law enforcement types, and, and people in other walks of life as well uh, have a messiah complex. And um, it's what destroys people. 
uh, it, it's a very unfortunate thing to happen to people. Well, we've had a lot of TSA people go crazy and in a couple of cases strip down naked and begin to yell, I am God, and flopping around. They're, they're enjoying themselves so much. Well, could be. I haven't seen that yet, but... Uh, oh, no, I'm not I kidding. We'll put it on screen. Uh, NBC, folks, TSA agent arrested after stripping down naked and, and declaring I'm God. No, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I, they, I mean, they actually was flip out. In, was this in Austin? No, this was in Los Angeles. That was another case, too, where they oh. went crazy and said they were God. Well, I think that was maybe they have a course there that you should act like a God-like creature, and maybe that's why they do that. But see, here's the deal, Bob. As I get more power, real power, you know, as a big national syndicated host with hardcore political stuff, my, you know, we're able to punch news out there and, 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 and really sometimes set the agenda. I get more and more concerned and, 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 and you know, try to work harder and actually am, a, even though I'm, I'm, I'm a good guy, I'm almost ashamed of the power and then want to be careful. But then I see these petty nobodies, they just go wild with a little bit of power. Yeah, but that's why they do it, because they have no power and they want to have power. And they're extremely jealous of people like you who've got it all together and they're incapable of doing so. And you're going to find that through your entire life. There's going to be no let up, because when you're in first place, everybody wants to kick you out. I've been there. I've done that. I've seen it. I've been subjected to it for over 50 years. And now it's your turn, Alex. <laughs> But I mean, <laughs> but I'm not even that good. That's what's pathetic is these people are so busy trying to shoot somebody else down that they don't realize life is winning. Having a good life, being a decent person is winning, not running around being worshipped like God. Bob Chapman, I want to get into the incredible military developments as they more and more mainline the fact they're going to ground invade Libya and uh, stage some terror attacks to get that done. New bill to introduce... New bill introduced in the House asks citizens to voluntarily pay down national debt, but it sets up this new federal debiting uh, separately, even from your employer, out of your paycheck, and I guarantee you they're going to start just doing it to everybody. That's, that's getting us ready for international austerity directly through the banking system. Also, will NATO resurrect Operation Gladio to frame Gaddafi? Because Gaddafi's saying, I will militarily strike back at you. You're attacking my country, I'll attack Europe. And they're like, oh my gosh, he may launch a terror attack. We've been bombing him for three and a half months and have Al-Qaeda rebels attacking. He says he may fight back against Europe that's bombing him. How outrageous. And it's going to be like a time machine. They're going to say, we attacked him in April. And then he attacked us uh, in August. That's why we attacked in April, was because of the... Uh, because of the attack in August, four or five months later, this is the total disconnect in Fox News and CNN. How outrageous that he might fire missiles at Europe well, after we're blowing up schools. And, but my issue is they also, he's, he's playing into their trap. The globalists may stage terror attacks as a pretext to send in the ground forces. This is a serious situation. Bob Chapman, what's your take? Well, you, never, you should never warn your enemy what you're going to do. And uh, these people have a great military power in Europe and the United States. And so with that said, if you're going to do terrorist things, you go right ahead and do them. And then let them figure it out. And uh, that's the way it should be handled. Uh, I, I, re I received a letter this morning, uh, email, uh, and one of the subscribers had been at a family meeting and uh, one of the members was talking about uh, Libya and it was about the time that uh, the aerial bombardment uh, overflight uh, situation began. Alex, how long ago was that? Two months? Three months? Say that again, Bob? The uh, aerial bombardment in Libya, how long ago Oh, yeah, that's that, been going on for coming up on three and a half months. You mean the oh, aerial the, love? Yes. Well, anyway, uh, the gentleman who was at the family reunion uh, happened to be with the United States Marine Corps. And they were being trained then to go into Libya. And that was three and a half months ago. 
So uh, this has been in the works for some time and probably a long time prior to that. Um, many of the people in Europe uh, are, agree with Mr. Gaddafi, uh, not that they would normally do so perhaps, but uh, they think he's getting the raw end. And uh, I do too, and have from the very beginning. And Well, um, regardless, it's going to kill a bunch of our troops, further bankrupt us, and it's all built on a lie. And the group that started the attacks four months ago is Al-Qaeda on record. What are we doing this for Al-Qaeda for? Because we control Al-Qaeda and the Taliban and their creatures and creations of MI6 and the CIA and have been for a long time. And we've discussed this in the program before. So now they're bringing them in the open to do their dirty work for them. And uh, uh, I have seen reports, I don't know how true they are, of Mr. Gaddafi uh, trying to find an exit by using uh, the influence of Russia. Uh, I don't know how true that is. Uh, it seems somewhat out of character because he, in fact, would be abandoning his people. Uh, but, you know, in situations, people do strange things as well. But the whole thing is we want another geopolitical position, and let's rape the country. And we've gone over on the program before what's available uh, in Libya or uh, attached to Libya, and they want to steal it all. It's pretty simple. Well, they, he's now handed out 2 million AK-47s, hundreds of thousands of RPGs, What's going to happen when U.S. forces roll into that? They are going to have losses. And I discussed this yesterday on the Marines Dis Marine Disquisition. And uh, that is a program that goes directly uh, to servicemen active and retired, but mostly Marines. And we discussed that. And I said, I, I want the Marines out to stay out of there. I don't want any more of our young people getting killed i agree with you bob stay there we're gonna shift gears but keep you with us so much is happening in the world economy right now uh jobs came in that a little uh, the jobs had been added but not many and that caused the market to go down uh, and obviously we've had the banksters expanding their takeover in europe now going into portugal with threats of their rating level being dropped uh in, in closing in four minutes what's happening with the economy well on these figures this morning eighteen thousand jobs uh, the bottom line is really that 200,000 jobs were lost, not 18,000 were gained. Uh, it's another Mickey Mouse report, uh, and they base it on the birth-death ratio. And it's fabricated jobs, and it's been going on and on and on. I wrote a piece about it. You'll see it in tomorrow's issue. And it's far worse than what people think it is. And it's going to get a lot worse. You know, I've been saying for a long time, this is what the figures are going to be, and this is where we're headed. Net unemployment, 22.6%, we're going higher. And it's just showing up. It just shows you that everything Wall Street and banking and the media, major media is coming out with, is gobbledygook. It's not true. And a good example is a gentleman we just had on here with the six children. Uh, he's struggling to make a living, and, and many millions of Americans and people in other countries are doing the same thing. Uh, switching over to Europe, we haven't heard the last of this thing in Greece yet. Uh, the people don't trust either party, and they're eventually uh, going to probably have a revolution there. And I think uh, Mr. George Papadreou is probably going to flee the country. And uh, we thought that perhaps some help might come from the other party, but um, I'm not as optimistic as I was before that they might do so. Uh, the uh, Greek Orthodox Church is doing everything they can to educate people as to what has been done to them. And I think this is a model which the bankers have put together so that they can do it to every country. And that means they just want to rape everything that they've got. And as you see, it's spreading through each country. And I wouldn't be surprised <clears throat> if we didn't see an extension. We, we're looking at six countries now that are in serious trouble over there. There's going to be more because the French 
and the Dutch and the Germans and the Finns and the Austrians and, and a few others, they're paying all the bills. I mean, where's all the money going to come from? It isn't. And so those are festering ongoing situations. We're looking at the same thing in America when we look at the extension of the short-term budget deficit. What are they looking for here? Uh, we don't know exactly, but I'll tell you what they, I think they want to do. Close tax loopholes for the wealthy. And that will be patented, I think, on the 1986 Tax Reform Act by Ronald Reagan, which was a disaster for our country financially. Eight million millionaires went bankrupt for following the rules. So they changed the rules. No grandfathering. And lots of people lost everything. The other side of that is they want to increase the age of Social Security, and they also want to cut back on the payments. So basically total austerity. Lord willing, next Friday, Bob, we'll have a full hour with you to really walk through all of this. Thank you so much for joining us, Bob. I'll see you next week, and thank you all for listening. You bet.